Hey, it's Doug from Rise Above Performance Training. We just finished up with a great introductory kettlebell workshop. And what I'm gonna do is just go over the basics of what we talked about today. It's kind of hard style basics, kettlebell 101. So the first thing we learned today was the deadlift. So the nice thing about the kettlebell is we're gonna straddle the weight in between our ankles and our knees. I'm gonna drop straight down. I'm gonna lock my arms down. So I think about pulling my shoulder blades down into my back pockets. I don't want to be hips too low, I want to be about right here in a nice triangle. I'm going to tighten up, squeeze my butt, lock into place. When I go back down, I'm going to push back, relock, drive up. This is a, technically a hip hinge, which is going to be great when we do our kettlebell swing. Same kind of movement. We did a few squats today. Goblet squat, goblet position, holding the bell here, tucking the elbows in pulling the shoulder blades down. We're gonna do our squat. Feet a little wide in our shoulders, you can turn your toes out. You wanna get roughly 90 degrees, maybe a little bit more. Stay tight at the bottom. Squeeze your butt, stand up. Same thing, push them back. Keep a nice flat back. Squeeze in and stand up. The nice thing about the kettlebell is you can do single arm versions. This is a rack position. I'm gonna keep the bell close racked in. I want to make it a part of my body so I'm not physically holding this bell. And again, I'm going to squat and up. With the single sided bell, you want to make sure that you don't get pulled around. So I don't want to drop down and get pulled to the side. I want to stay even on both legs, driving up. And then you can do both sides. Presses. We'll go back to our goblet position. Shoulder blades down, tight, and I want to squeeze my lats. My lats are these muscles here. Squeeze overhead, pull back down. My butt is tight, I'm locked out, and I'm pressing right over my hips, bringing it back down. Back to the rack position. You can do the single sided press. So I'm gonna be in the rack, tighten up, and I'm gonna push against the bell and press overhead. I'm gonna to get to this lock position, so I don't wanna hold it out here where I'm not stable, nor do I wanna put it, bring it out in front. I wanna be right over my hip, locked out. And when I come down, it's like a chin up. I pull it back in, plug right into the rack position. Up. And back in. Next, we did the swings. We did the two arm version, and we did the one arm version. Principles of the swing. We're gonna do that hip hinge that we did earlier with the deadlift. I'm gonna start with my bell in front of me for the two arm swing. I'm in a triangle. I'm gonna bring the bell back a little bit, lock my shoulders down, pulling them down in the back pockets. I'm gonna hike the bell through, keeping it above the knees, squeezing my bottom, extending my hips, let the bell float at the top. Exhaling on the way up. I turn this way. It's above my knees on the back swing. One arm version, same thing. I like to make the one arm version like the two arm. So we don't want to lock our other side down and having our shoulders teed off too tight. We want to make sure that we have the other arm moving so we stay loose, we stay in proper position and also helps us when we do transitional swings. So one arm version like the two, lock down, this arm's free for balance. I'm gonna hike through. This arm's free, if I need to switch, I'll switch. Other side here. Switch. Okay, for the clean, the clean is bringing it from the swing to the rack position. It's a transitional position from the clean. You can do your squat like we did earlier. You can do your press like we did earlier. You can do your lunge, anything you can think of. Now, we're going to build off our swing. So we're going to hike the bell through, bring it up to the rack position. That's the clean there. Now, what I had people do was a guided clean. I'm taking my free arm, sliding my hand over, and then opening up this hand to slide in. Now, as I get better, 
I'm just going to take it away. I want to slide my hand through the handle and ideally plug right in and then have it nice and smooth. When I go into the backswing, I want to drop the bell without having it pull me forward. So I don't want to do this and then try to backswing. I want to keep it close, push through and up. It's going to take a little bit more kind of effort out of you to get a good backswing because you don't have a big arc. So as I drop the bell, I'm going to push through, pull. So back into my clean, drop, push, drop, push. Snatches. So snatches go from the swing to directly overhead. Same thing, you're going to build off the one-arm swing. What we added in was a high pull. The high pull is a retraction of the bell back. We don't want to pull the bell this way in a circular motion and have it go behind us and wrench our shoulder. So when we come up, we pull the bell a little bit and then punch through. So the high pull, after we build off the swing, we're going to do a little retraction. When we get that down, we pull and open the hand. Bringing the bell down, beginner's way. Down and back, build off the swing again until you're ready to snatch. When you get better, I call it a little jump shot. You can just flip your hand down, let the bell travel, be in control but not too stiff, ride it through on the back swing, pull and punch. Lastly, we did the get up. We did it in phases. The first part of the get up is the sit up. We're going to roll over, bring the bell to us, assist with two arms. Bell up, leg up. You want this foot to be in the ground solid. We don't want collapse. This leg and this arm, they're going to be the same. They're going to be out, away from the body. Taller people are going to be a little wider. Shorter people a little bit more in, but make them the same. I'm going to sit up towards this arm. I'm going to push in the ground, roll cheek to cheek, get up on this arm for the first part. So the get up, sit up. Stabilize. I should have a nice straight line between this bell and my elbow. Part two, up on the hand, locking the shoulders down, fingertips down. Part three, I like a nice high bridge. And then as through a high bridge, I'm going to bring this knee to this hand in a triangle again. When I'm here, I'm going to tighten up and hinge like a lateral hinge, a windmill, into the lunge position. I'm going to fix my feet, tuck my toe underneath, step forward. As I slide back, do a little moonwalk here, drop down. I'm going to windshield wipe my leg. Touch my thigh and hinge back down. Find the floor. Make a little space. Kick through. Two and one. Bring it down safe. So those are the very basics of what we covered today. Kind of a quick overview. If you guys want to, if you're local and want to do a kettlebell workshop, sign up on the website for the email newsletter and then uh, come join a class. Thanks a lot.